It's no secret that Meghan Markle loves attention and being the center of focus. After all, she was an actress for years before marrying into the royal family. But what many people don't realize is just how much Meghan's ego and attention-seeking drove Prince Harry absolutely crazy behind closed doors. According to inside sources, Meghan would constantly demand the spotlight and was never satisfied playing second fiddle to Harry or other senior royals like Prince William and Kate. Well, it seems like back when Meghan was still just a moderately successful cable TV actress in America, one of her co-stars recognized her attention-seeking ways and wasn't having it. That co-star was the legendary Kevin Costner. In 2013, Meghan landed one of her bigger TV roles appearing in a few episodes of the Showtime drama Suits. But one of her other minor TV credits that same year was a movie Kevin Costner directed called Man of Steel. While details of Meghan and Costner's interactions on set have never been publicly revealed, one insider account claims that Kevin took an instant dislike to Meghan's constant demands for more airtime and dialogue in the film. Keep in mind, this was early in Meghan's career when she was still a supporting actress, not a leading lady. According to the source, Kevin felt Meghan was too caught up in her own ego and trying to steal attention away from the movie's actual stars like Henry Cavill. In one telling scene recounted by The Insider, Kevin apparently had enough of Meghan's antics and firmly put her in her place in front of the entire crew. During a break in filming, Meghan was overheard loudly complaining to another extra about not having more lines. Kevin reportedly overheard and walked straight up to Meghan, looked her dead in the eyes, and said, Miss Markle, this is my film and I think you've had enough attention for one day. Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself from now on and just do your job as directed? The entire crew then went dead silent in shock at Kevin dressing down the then-unknown actress. According to witnesses, Megan turned beat red with embarrassment but didn't have a comeback. From that point on, she kept her head down and avoided Kevin for the rest of the shoot. It seems like even back then, those closest to Megan recognized what a spoiled, attention-hungry diva she could be when things didn't go her way. You have to wonder if Megan's previous experience with Kevin Costner is why she allegedly still craves any opportunity to be seen as a leading lady and big star rather than a royal supporting player. Costner must have really bruised Megan's ego all those years ago to be so bluntly told to stay in her lane early on in her career. Royals experts say this constant need for attention and limelight was a major bone of contention in Megan's marriage to Prince Harry as well. When Meghan first married Harry, she seemed content enough to take a backseat to him as the actual senior royal. But it wasn't long before she was allegedly pushing Harry to take a step back from his duties to allow her to play a bigger public role. According to a palace source, Harry started to grow frustrated that wherever they went, Meghan demanded all eyes be on her rather than the event or causes they were supporting as royals. It came to a head during their Australian tour shortly after their wedding. While representing the Queen abroad, Meghan took significant time out of their busy schedule for extensive hair and makeup in the morning while keeping Harry waiting. At a public event, she reportedly demanded to walk ahead of Harry rather than beside him as royal protocol dictates for unmarried couples. And when the cameras were on them, she constantly nudged or subtly gestured for Harry to let her take center stage. These kinds of repeated diva antics really grated on Harry's nerves. Growing up as a true royal, he was always taught duty and service came before personal interests or fame. But Meghan just couldn't leave the actress behind. It said Harry had a quietly furious exchange with Meghan afterwards about her behavior and constant attention grabbing. So it's no wonder Harry eventually gave in to her nagging and they dramatically stepped away from frontline royal roles altogether. It allowed Meghan exactly what she had always craved, to be the biggest star on their own terms rather than play a supporting role to the Queen and other senior royals. Of course, this came at the cost of Harry separating himself from his family and country. But Meghan got her Hollywood ending after all. She's been free to produce her podcasts, make big Netflix deals, command vast sums for speaking engagements, and even give a tell-all interview trashing the royals watched by millions. Meanwhile, Harry is along for the ride, looking like a whipped husband constantly trying to please his headstrong wife rather than the strong leader he was born to be. My friends, this whole saga truly shows why you should never marry an actress or any girl more in love with fame, stardom, and attention than you. She will always put herself and career first, and she will always be pushing you aside to be the real star of the relationship. No amount of success will ever be enough for an ego like Meghan's. Just look at how she has embarrassed and belittled Harry by dragging his family constantly to the press. You really think she just fell in love with some average guy from England? No way. 
She set her sights on Prince Harry because of his fame and title that elevated her to megastar status overnight. But once married with the titles, she clearly still wasn't satisfied with playing royal wife. She wanted to eclipse even the monarchy itself. So consider this video a PSA to all you out there, especially any aspiring young princes. Stay far away from the actresses. They may charm you at first, but their true colors will come out once they get that reality TV style happily ever after ending. Your royal crown and castle may seem like easy trophies for their ego, but they'll end up costing you everything that really matters, like your dignity, family, and heritage. In the end, a handsome prince was no match for an actress born to lead. Harry got played like a fiddle and stripped of his birthright to feed Meghan's Hollywood dreams. And it all started years ago with Kevin Costner having the prescience to check an attention-hungry Meghan Markle right when her diva tendencies were beginning to show. When an A-list megastar like Costner recognizes the red flags, other men would do well to take note. So share this story as a warning to your friends and family members. Always be wary of any woman more in love with fame than commitment. Duty and family mean nothing to social climbers like Meghan looking for their big break. Stick with good girls who love you for who you are rather than what crown you wear. Hope you all enjoyed this cautionary tale and learned from Prince Harry's mistakes. Stay royal, fellas. Keep your crowns high.